Was this the day that Tata came in like a wrecking ball? I think it was. I think it was. I came in like a wrecking ball. Seven and a half hours in one thrift store. We went hard. Hard. So hard. I remember we were physically aching at the end of the day. Like, <laughs> so achy. This is the haul from the day. Tata and I came in like wrecking balls with that huge cart overflowing with trash bags. Seven and a half hours in one thrift store. You ready to see what we got? Let's cue the intro and jump into it. What's up? My name's Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives. I save clothes. This ain't my first rodeo. I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. And thumbs up if this ain't your first rodeo either. <laughs> this shirt is for my last haul. It's a little crop shirt. I'm not that skinny yet, but I'm working on it. 23 pounds down. Hey, 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 So I'm feeling really excited. Um... This is day two. Day two of the Hope and Tata Adventures, uh, the little series I'm doing on my channel. If you don't know, well, I'm about to tell you. I went to Boston to see my good friend Lori Tata, who is also known as Lori's Boston Found, where Thrifted is the new black. And I stayed for five days. Five days. Five days of nonstop laughter, banter, thrifting, and wind downs. The most amazing trip I've ever been on in my entire life. Only slightly better than the first. I, this is the second time I've went out to her house. The second of many. Because whether she likes it or not, I'm not going anywhere and... <laughs> I'm going back again. Someday I'm gonna get her I'm gonna get her to Indiana. Not that there's anything for her to see here. I would just love for her to be around my family. And for them to all get to experience. What a wonderful human she is. So, anyways, this video, you guys, is going to be the longest video you've ever seen. I can't remember how many pieces I picked up at, at this thrift store. I'm not going to tell you what the thrift store's name because it's Tata's Happy Place. It's a little bit, it's like right by Boston, like a little out, outside of Boston, that area. You might recognize it by some of the footage, but, you know, fellow resellers know you got to respect one's honey hole. And, you know, that's what I'm going to do. We're not going to say the name. The place is freaking awesome. Every time I, well, every time. The, both times I've been out to see Lori, we go here and I am obsessed. So, I can't remember how many pieces I picked up, but I will tell you that the owner was gracious enough to give us 15% off our total at the end. Uh, because I messaged him and was like, guess who's coming back? And he also let us know, like, when the best days to come were. And so we were like, we'll see you tomorrow. So, he is a wonderful man. Gave us a discount altogether during the whole thrifting trip. I spent $890 on thrifted items to resell. And I got 140 pieces. So my average cost of good was like $6.00. 32 cents somewhere in that ballpark so just keep that in mind as I'm going through hopefully some of these items are listed some of them might be repeats if you caught my live or caught the live the shoe haul that I did with Lori you might see some things again um, but I'm doing it I'm doing the hauls by the stores and by excuse me and by the day I have the hiccups. I'm so sorry. So, let's just jump in. Sorry for the long intro. I'm just so excited to finally... I've been home a week now. It feels like yesterday. Like, I'm so sad. I want to go back! Um, but yeah, I need to get to work. I started processing all the stuff that I left on my rack before I left for my trip. And half of it is listed. And I just brought home more. Who can relate? 
It never ends. It never ends. Ever. So, you ready? I'm sure you are. Let's get into it. All right, first thing. So I'm not, I don't remember prices. I'm not gonna tell you the prices, but I will tell you that this is new with tag. It's Point Sur, which is the higher end J. Crew line, or one, one of their higher end lines. That's the tag. If the lighting is crazy, it's because <laughs> I tried to zoom in. I tried to blur the background. I tried to dim my ring light so I didn't look so blown out, but the struggle. This is a size small. It's a gray. I feel like the materials are probably fantastic. It's brand new with tag. Oh, just kidding. The materials are not. Okay. Wool. Yeah. Okay. Wool, mohair, acrylic, and polymide. So good fabric content there. Gray, cow neck, ribbed. Looks like kind of like a high low, a little boxy point sir. And the funny thing is, is I've never picked up point sir. I don't really find it. I find Madewell and J. Crew like it's going out of business, but point sir, not so much. So I grabbed it. Why not? It was brand new with tags. Madewell, size small. I feel like this must have cashmere in it. Tata handed me this towards the end of the day. <laughs> she was toast. Has white cuffs and they have like the little thumb hole. It's very textured. It's probably a mohair blend as well or cashmere. It feels lovely. Wool, no, nylon merino wool alpaca. It's gorgeous. So why are you picking up sweaters? It's a size small as well. Why are you picking up sweaters? In the summer, Hope. I do not know. So, all right, this is a fun one. Pearl Izumi, I got lots of Pearl Izumi there that day. It's cycling season for the cost of goods. I was not saying no at all. So this is like a lime green. You definitely won't get hit riding your bike wearing this neon green jacket. Uh, it's Pearl Izumi, Pearl Izumi, smooth, size small. Um, that's the logo on Pearly Zoomy. I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but it also has these like great like reflectors built in. It's a great brand. You can definitely get $30, $40 for, I just skeeted right off the top of my table. You can definitely get like $30, $40 for those jackets. And if your cost of goods is six bucks, then winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, this is a brand I've never found before. You might hear me say that often. This is Wolford, not Wilfred, Wolford, W-O-L-F-O-R-D, Wolford. <laughs> this is the tag, Wolford, see? These are like a black pant with a tuxedo satin stripe down the side. This brand is super expensive. And when I found it, I it's size 40, USA 10. They're cotton trousers with that tuxedo stripe and pockets down the side. When I found it, Tata was like, oh yeah, that's a really good brand. And I was like, oh, I never even heard of it. So I didn't even look up comps. I just put it in my cart because when Tata says something, you listen. No, in Tato we trust. <laughs> okay, these are Club Monaco, size 10. They are linen, gray linen, wide leg trousers. It's linen season, so, and Club Monaco, it doesn't hurt. Not all Club Monaco moves quick, but I feel like since it's linen, we might get there. These are just AG. Um, they're the carry. They're just shorts. Distressed shorts in a size. What size? Oh my gosh, they carry ex exclusively for Calypso St. Barth. So these are collaboration for S Calypso St. Barth. I did not know that, but now I do. These are a 25, which doesn't bother me at all because I sell small shorts all the time. And these are a collab for Calypso St. Barth, which is also a great brand, so yay! I'm going to be working on getting all of this stuff listed over the next couple weeks. 
I have to just think, I have to do all the research on all these items, get them all into my inventory, take the pictures, you know, figure out comps. So it's a process. And we all know that I'm not the best at that. But I do have a helper now. And we have gotten through so much of my backlogged inventory that wasn't in my system yet. And now it's like, I take a picture, she's going to do the measurements, bag, tag, inventory, and she's going to work eight hours a day. And it's amazing. I feel such a relief. I was able to get 200 pictures taken the day she was here. 200. Because I wasn't worried about doing anything else but getting the pictures because she's doing the rest. Oh. <laughs> so I haven't started on any of this stuff because I needed to get the hauls filmed. And some, I know some resellers do it backwards or do it the opposite way where they will get everything listed and then do the haul, which makes a lot of sense to me. But at the same time, if my process is to take a picture, measure, bag, inventory all in the same day, then how am I going to haul it? if it's already bagged in, in my inventory system. So, <laughs> and that's always been my process. I never ever have the items listed before a haul because I feel like once it's hauled, then it can go for pictures and for inventory. Am I crazy? Shh. Hey, you know what? We all have our own methods, right? Okay, another point, sir. These are a size 10. They are, they look really blue on this camera but they're not they're just like a navy blue I think they're linen honestly I don't know no they're 100% cotton stretch way size 10 and they're joggers hey I'm all about that comfortable that comfortable life okay I feel like the bag I'm reaching into <laughs> is all my bottoms so stick around to the end of the video. I know it's going to be long. You can watch it in parts. I really appreciate you guys watching my long videos. I really, really do. Because I have shoes and I have tops also. I promise. I promise that's not all bottoms. All right, these are free people, size 31. These are short. <laughs> Super short shorts. Like booty cheek shorts. Um, they don't have a name, but they're free people. So, got those. Oh, this is a jacket. This is a Toomey jacket. Never found Toomey before. Tata finds Toomey often. Say that 10 times fast. Tata finds Toomey often. <laughs> it's not really that hard, is it? So this is Tech by Toomey. Comp. I did look this up because I don't like men's, selling men's. I know, you guys. I know. So I don't pick up men's unless it's at the bins. <laughs> So it's an extra large, but the comps on this jacket are at around $50 plus. So I'm expecting at least $50 for this jacket. It's like a nylon with fleece inside. It's very techy and exciting. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite shirts. And you aren't going to believe the brand. Like, it's a brand that, I mean, you wouldn't expect it to be. So I'm going to show it and then... We'll play. Wow, I didn't expect it to be that brand. So it's like velvet, velour, it's velvet, definitely velvet. It's a blouse with cuff sleeves, kind of like poet sleeves, very flowy, drapey, bohemian, has buttons three fourths of the way down. Gosh, it's like in this beautiful, rusty, maroon color. There's side slits. Guess the brand. It's Lafayette 148. Would you ever have expected it to be Lafayette 148? Not in a million years. Size large. It is beautiful. I'm going to price it probably high, like 40 50 to start without looking up comps, just because I think it's so amazing and unique. Like, I've never seen anything that cute from them, <laughs> ever. <laughs> I would have expected it to be free people. And here I am again, picking up men's items. So I came home and told my husband, I was like, I got you these for the hot tub. And he was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> Those aren't for me. But I think they're precious. They're like pink swim trunks and they're polo Ralph Lauren. They have a fun green band inside. They're brand new with tag. Like my husband doesn't like to wear used 
Like, he doesn't like it when I find, like, used stuff, but, I mean, it's new with tag. And they're $60 swim trunks. And he goes, those are way too short. He goes, it's for the hot tub, George. Like, it's only me who gets in there with you. He was like, you should just sell those. Since they're only for the hot tub, you should just sell them. Like, I can wear tattered shorts in the hot tub. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So, I got those. They're new tag. Men's raffle arm polo. They'll, they're swim trunks. They will sell. J. Crew size 10. I found a lot of size 10. And I'm sure a lot of you are like, wow, you went all the way to Boston and picked up J. Crew. Listen. This is why I should do wet sold videos more often than the two that I've done. Because I've sold so much J. Crew, it's unreal. And I was... Me and Tata were sitting at the table. I'm so sorry for you guys who call her Lori. <laughs> it's just not second nature. When I call her Lori, she's like, are you mad? Like, I didn't know you were talking to me because you said Lori. Because <laughs> I just don't call her that. I don't know why or how, but she's Tata to me. Um, so, sorry if it annoys you that I call her Tata. Her name is Lori. <laughs> that is her name. But her alias is Tata. <laughs> Sometimes Alanis. Okay, so I was sitting at the table with Lori, Tata, and I was just like, look at my what look at my solds. I'm just gonna type in J. Crew and I just scrolled through. So many J. Crew between $30 and $60, $70. I think you guys, and I hope I don't shoot myself in the foot. I think because so many people are like anti J. Crew. Or like, I won't pick up J. Crew, or I no longer pick up J. Crew, or it's not worth it to pay up for J. Crew. All of that. I think that now there's just not as much of it. Or, I don't know, leaves the market open for people like me who are like, yep, I'll sell it. J. Crew is expensive. And some of their pieces are like retired and sought after. And if you can find them, boy, they're worth it. So, anywho, rants over. Especially new label, I'll definitely pick that up. And... Six, cost a good six dollars if I can get 35 40 on these pants I'm super pleased and I probably will be able to because they're navy blue trousers they're 100% linen they're wide leg they're fabulous they're super wide leg they're in like new condition absolutely 100% linen absolutely sorry for that long J. Crew ramp but I I really even the tops I sell for between $18 and $25. So I'm telling you guys, I promise I'm going to start doing more wet sold videos. So that way I can showcase the fact that J. Crew is bae. <laughs> it truly is. This is not from the store that we went to for seven and a half hours. It's from another, it's from a Savers that was close to a restaurant we ate at after we went to the other one. But I wanted to go. I was like, why don't we, can we just go? She was like, oh my God. <laughs> she hated me at that moment, but she didn't say it out loud. She was like, they're not going to have anything. It's not rotation day. And I was just like, but please, I never, I don't have a saver. So she took me because she's a wonderful friend and I'm a pain in the arse. Um, and she was right. There was nothing, but I found like a couple things. So I got those couple things. Actually, I bought dinner. And so she bought me these couple things. <laughs> because she's extra like that <laughs> and she goes no one's keeping score and I'm like you are keeping score like I paid for the dinner you're not supposed to bite my stuff at the thrift store and she's always like you flew all the way out here and I'm like because I wanted to and I'm staying with you and uh, hotels are a lot of money so see see Tata <laughs> okay size large this is I don't even know what this is this is just a hammer brand Oh my god, I got something that doesn't have my brand. Oh my gosh, I'm I think it's an anthropology brand. Sorry guys, I'm losing it. Striped. It's got a pocket and the back has these birds. I don't recognize this tag because it says nothing on here. Made in USA. There's no nothing. I feel like I looked inside and it was like four urban outfitters. So yeah. Anthropology. 66170. Okay. Does anyone know? This was 449. What, does anyone recognize this? Like, it's, the tag is literally just this. I have... 
no idea. I honestly have no idea what that shirt is. Size large. Anywho, these are Cartonier. Cartonier. Size 12. What a it's a great size. I love this brand, Anthropology brand. I think their stuff is so cute. Their blazers and jackets are adorable. I love like all their stuff is like safari, outdoorsy, linen-y. These are I'm pretty sure they're linen. I'm just trying to check before I say that out loud. Yeah. 100% linen size 12 shorts. This is an easy $35 just because they're linen and they're anthropology. Oh, I was so excited about these. I think I'm the only person who gets pumped about soft surroundings. Is that true? Raise your hand. <laughs> Does anyone else get excited? These are soft surroundings, size small. They're just like a white stretch pant, but they have these wild wooden buttons all the way down and they're like wide leg white cropped pants there is one itty bitty teeny weeny tiny spot in the back i'm gonna take a shot wipe and see if not i'll just disclose it it's literally the size of a speck otherwise they're in perfect condition here is patagucci usually this place marks up their patagonia this was in the $3.99 sweater section and it did not have a marked up tag. So Patagonia, it is, I have no idea what style this is. It's just a fleece jacket. It's blue, it's really blue. Zip up fleece jacket. I mean, it has some wash wear, like, you know, the, the fleece is kind of pilly looking, but I don't know. I never find Patagonia jackets, so you better believe I was picking it up for the $3.99 they had it marked for. <laughs> this is Monroe. Now, I think this is sold at Anthropology. I heard about this brand from Jack and Ryan, and I'm always excited to put new brands in my closet. I haven't done much research on the brand, I just know that it's good. It has like a plaid underlay, gray sweater. And a collar. This is the brand. How do you guys do? Have you ever sold Monroe? And it's spelled M-O-N-R-O-W. Um, I don't know if it's like exclusive to, oh, there's no information in the tag. Let me Google really quick Monroe. Oh yeah, okay. So it looks like that their sweaters retail for 288, 128, holy cow. Yeah, 128, 128, 162, 176. So that's retail. And listings on Posh, on Posh, on Posh, on Posh are 45, 68, 60, 50, 68, 68, 50, 60, 80, 55, 173. Oh, it's a set. 90, just for a sweater. So I think the brand does well. I don't know. This is not the solds. So I'm just like scrolling through on Google, like through where Poshmark things listings come up. I'll have to look at sold, but I'm, I'm, I feel like it's kind of like a grunge slash everyday essential staple, basic minimalist type of company. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, there's just no size. So that stinks, but I'll figure it out. It's really cute really cute and I'm always willing to take a chance on a new brand I'm so sorry my hair you guys it literally needs its own video it needs its own show it's so big Club Monaco size medium I always find tons of Club Monaco when I'm at this place it's just a black and white striped it's like very textured like a textured striped crew neck sweater with the ribbed sleeves and banding at the waist it's a size medium, you know, 30, 35. It doesn't sell for a ton. And I know a lot of this stuff I'm probably gonna have to sit on for a little bit because we're heading into summer, but that's okay. That's okay. This is Topshop, size 28, Topshop Moto. Just a button 
front mini skirt. I do well with skirts like this. Not a ton, but like 25 bucks, so. Okay, this is Piranha. I, this is a legging skirt, so it's got like the skirt, the ruching, and then the leggings underneath. It has a name. I can't remember it, but it's a large. I might keep this, you guys. I'm very into like when I'm outside, just like wearing the athleisure. So that seems like a fun piece to twirl around my yard in. <laughs> I'm the new pool girl. Cause I, I'm the one who takes care of our hot tub. Athleta, size large. It's gray. So cute. Like it's got this ribbed detail in the back that split down and then it slits up the back. It's like new condition, size large. I love Athleta, always and forever. It's lost its resale value slightly. It doesn't sell for as much as it used to, but still a good brand. And when I talk about the hot tub, I'm not trying to be like, oh, my hot tub, yes. <laughs> I'm not like that at all, but it was the one thing that I really wanted to buy for myself and well, for everyone, but mainly for myself because of my joints. Um, I have RA and I hurt a lot. So I thought the heat and just like being able to whew, relax would in the hot water would really help me. And we got, it's like an Intex inflatable $900 one, not an $8,000 one. So I'm not trying to be like, oh, look what we bought. Anywho, this is J. Crew Always, size medium. Never have I ever found a J. Crew Always. So it's a polka dot gray. I think it's cashmere or merino wool. I think this is the, it's merino wool. 60% merino, 40 nylon. So this is 2018. So I think the Forever is like the styles they bring back. This brand, the Forever J. Crew Always is the styles they bring back. I believe that's what Lori Tata was saying. Okay, we have been filming for how long? 30 minutes. This one is going to be 50. <laughs> 50, I'm calling it now. Maybe I'll split it up. Okay, this is Vince, size two. It's like a little button front, kind of leopard print. I believe it's silk. It's a button up blouse. Vince is so expensive. Yeah, it's 100% silk. That was another reason why I grabbed it. Um, it's so expensive, but it just doesn't quite hit like it used to. Um, but 25, 30 probably. So we'll see. This is J. Crew. <laughs> J. Crew again. I just can't help it when their sweaters are like 3.99. Like I was like, uh, I just can't help it. It's 100% wool. It's that beautiful thin wool. And this is like brand new from 2020, I think. Oh no, the top, the dates are worn off, but it's amazing. So it has like this fringe detail all around. It's striped. I feel like it's nautical. It's got these pockets. They have the fringe as well. It has the fringe all the way down. It's an open front cardigan. No, it buttons. It's a button cardigan. It's a large. I love it. It's like a grayish, it's gray, gray and cream. I love it so much. I really do. Maybe I'll put that on in my next video. I do well. It's the last time I'm going to say it. <laughs> okay, this is current Elliot size one. That equates to, I have no idea, but it's a little like v-neck tee. That's current, current Elliot's tag. Right there. And this has palm trees, little palm trees all over it, v-neck. Super cute. It's a one, but I feel like this would fit me. And their fabric, is, they're made in the USA and their, co their cotton is like next level. It's like super comfortable. The tags are not in it. This is Disney Parks. This is one of my favorite shirts. My daughter was like, please can I? And I was like, no, I've given you so much already. You're not, you're not getting this. Disney Parks, grape soda. I don't know what show, maybe like, I have no idea what show talks about grape soda. It's like an oversized, size medium. 
grape soda purple tea. I This will sell so fast. I'm probably going to list it like 35. Just because it's so like novelty. Okay, two items left. Oh, and they're both like biker related. These are, dear lord, Segoy. I don't know if I've, I feel like I've heard common tags, Courtney at common tags talk about Segoy. Maybe it wasn't her. Someone has mentioned the biking Segoy outdoor riding cycles. <laughs> These are Segoy padded biker shorts, butt padded. I don't know if any of you have ever rode a Peloton, but it kills your butt. I've never rode a real bike, like outside on a street, since I was like a little kid. <laughs> but a Peloton bike, that thing broke my coccyx. Like it's broke. Okay, this is Pearl Izumi. It's a sports bra, size small. It's new with tag. It's blue and red, or purple and red. It's brand new. Pearl Izumi, absolutely. And this is also Pearl Izumi. Size small, little vest, it's got like butterflies all over it, it sells pearl, azumi, really big right there, it zips down in the front and then it has all these fabulous pockets for your water bottles or whatever else you want to put behind your back. Alright, last piece is this Urban Outfitters, size small, little cropped cream oatmeal colored teddy bear zip up sweater. It's like one of those Terry teddy bear cropped tops. I bought this with my kid in mind and I was absolutely right. But then I took her shopping the other day and I was like, okay, well then I'm selling everything I bought. <laughs> You're not getting any of it. My youngest, by the way. These are Tarte Intimate size large. I got these for myself. But I think Lori was like, I think those might be something. I haven't looked them up yet, but they're like joggers. And they have these metallic polka dots in gold all over them. So, yes, please. I also picked up two pairs of Fly Londons. My average cost of goods, you guys, remember, is 6 bucks. So I'm super pumped to be able to, like, probably get between 65 and 85 for these. These are brand new. So are these. These are just black classic slingback Fly Londons. I think I'll be able to get more for these metallic fun ones than I will for the other, but excited nonetheless. This one, I'll give you sizes in case you want to know. This one is a 40, and this one is a 37. Oh, it's my husband. Hold on. We're supposed to have a date. We're having a day tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm on 15 minutes. Okay, this is Respun by Marine Lair, size small. Never have I ever found Marine Lair. This is a cream, super, super soft, rainbow striped crew neck. I'm so excited. Like, I think I'll be able to get 40 to 50 for that. <laughs> this is Roots. Roots is a Canadian brand. I recently picked up a, um, A Roots hoodie. I haven't listed it yet because it has a stain that I need to wash out um, at, my, at the bins. And someone's like, yeah, it's a great Canadian brand. And I found this with a spun Canadian leaf with the Roots logo. So I thought this would do really well. This hoodie is in excellent condition. It's a size extra small. Sorry that I'm going so fast, but my husband wants to have a day and we've got a lot of things to do here. And I don't want the video to be an hour. This is so cute and I never really pick up Victoria's Secret pink unless it's at the bins but that's the pink but look I mean if someone is going to Vegas this says Las Vegas and the front says Las Vegas and then it says pink on the sleeve it is amazing size medium and it's like new condition my battery is dead so I'm gonna change that really fast okay we're back in action all right, there's really not that much in here. So we should be able to get through it really quick. This is J. Crew. I got it because of the color. It's like mustard gold, 
super super chunky knit v-neck balloon sleeve sweater in a size medium gosh I did get a lot of J. Crew at this place didn't I this is Lulu's this is a size extra small it's velour burgundy it's cropped it has a tie at the waist super cozy lounge sweater so I'm excited about that I'm just making sure I'm recording because Lord knows <laughs> okay this was super cute I've seen this roll out on the rack and was so excited this is a free people dress I cannot wait to look up stock photos on this beautiful thing it's off the shoulder it's navy blue and yellow perfect for summer it's got this big huge tie it's like a midi length I want to say Ooh. well it has these really saucy splits up the side let me see is it layered there's just a lot of fabric here so I'm struggling oh yeah yep yeah. it has the short dress underneath so it's lined underneath there um my god it's the cutest free people dress I've ever seen and I know the stock photo is going to be amazing it is size medium free people so cute I was so excited when I when I found it this is chaser extra small I'm sure everyone knows what chaser looks like just a heart super lightweight heart graphic crew neck gray hearts chasers a and always sell 25 30 bucks usually so I pick it up because it's trendy and people love chaser so this is okay never heard of this but champion plus Todd Snyder New York so Todd Snyder is a designer and they did a, he did a collab with champion so this is like super plain, but like we looked it up in the store. Lori was like, yes, that's good, Todd Snyder. <laughs> and I was like, okay, yay. It's just a plain um, pocket crew in like a salmon pink color. But I think I'll be able to get $40, $45 just for this plain little champion crew because it's a collab with Todd Snyder. It's a size small. It's in great condition. This is so cute. This is sundry. I don't find sundry often. Is sundry always sold in anthro? Let me see. It's a size three. Yeah, no, this doesn't have the anthropology aura number, so I think it can be sold a million places. It's a size three, so I have no idea what that means, but that's the sundry logo. This sweater is so cute. So it's like a marled knit and it's got all these little cute patches all over it and then the back has that crossover isn't that adorable and it says a um, amour I love it size three I have no idea what that translate to sorry guys but I, yeah I don't find sundry very often I found it a few times but not a ton so I'm assuming comps are probably like 30, 40 ish. This is Wooden Ships Paola Buandia. Paola Buandia? Acrylic mohair wool made in Bali, Indonesia. Size so small slash medium. Oh, so cute. Gray. Little boxy, like, like wide, really wide oversized sweater with those Tiffany blue polka dots you guys my dream would be if someone paired this sweater with my Bowden scalloped shoes that are this color in my closet they're like this Tiffany blue oh, wouldn't that be such a cute outfit yeah I love this sweater it's so adorable I'm so excited I've never found wooden chips before Lori found the same brand that day I feel like hers was way cuter than mine you'll see it her haul is definitely up before mine <laughs> J Crew again but the reason these are size six I just these are so cute and I had just prior to leaving um, for my trip to Boston I had just sold a pair of wide leg army green J Crew chinos for 38 or 48 
something, I can't remember the, the exact amount, but I knew it was a good profitable range. So I grabbed these. They're wide leg, high rise, J. Crew Army looking. High rise, wide leg, fun pants, cargo, utility, all the keywords. So cute. Okay, another Pearl Izumi. I got so much Pearl Izumi that day. I'm ready for all the cyclers. This is a small, this is a red and black zip up jacket. It's vented in the back. Has all the logos all over the place. You guys, it's a solid 35 at least. So I would definitely pick it up if you find it. And if you aren't selling it for 35, then price it higher. Because you should get 35 for the jackets especially. But I feel like you should get more. So price high, take an offer. <laughs> There's your advice for today. This is Salon Studio. Uh, size medium, made in Bangladesh. It's so vintage, but I instantly thought of Shop Foxborough when I seen this. Look at this scallop neckline and these crocheted flowers around the neck. It's just this black sweater, so adorable. And I was like, I'm gonna have Brittany, Shop Foxborough, write my listing for this little cute, vintage, adorable sweater. Because she does that now. Because she's amazing. It's like $3. Yes, sign me up. This is Speedo. I'll link her channel down below. Love you, Brett. Okay, um, this is size 6. Speedo Endurance. It's just the one piece. Black Speedo. Open back. Their swimsuits aren't very expensive there. But then if you factor in the fact that my cost of goods was 6 bucks. Yikes, that's a little pricey for a swimsuit, uh, but it's Speedo, and it's in, like, new condition, so I'll list for 30, 35, and see what happens. You guys, look at this. Look at this bag. This is made well. Can you believe that? Me neither. Oh, this doesn't come off? I'm so confused. Oh, yes, it does. Look, it does. So, like, this front comes off and it, like, goes like this and you buckle it up. It's like a little briefcase moment. The inside has a zip. Now, it does have straps for a, for a handle, but the handle is broke. Um, so, I'm going to include the handle. <laughs> like, this is, like, half the handle, I think. Oh, the other half's in there. So what needs to happen is someone who's magical needs to band this back together if they want it to go on their shoulders. I don't think it's going to make or break the cell. It's beautiful leather. It zips across. And it's a great little, like, totally carry it, carry it like this or in your hand. Like a great little handbag. Made well. Love it. I don't know the style. I have to look it up. But I was so excited to find that made well bag. These are Vince. Just tan, suede, slip-on tennis shoes. They're in a good size, I'm pretty sure. I say that and I can't find the size. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, where is the size? Oh, hold on. You guys, I can't find the size. It's in here somewhere, but right now I have beer goggles on, so I can't see it. Anywho, okay, that's Fly London. I got these Uggs. I'll just show one. These are a size 6. But they're like a clog with shearling inside. Not a very big heel. They just I just need to like shove some stuff in there and get them reshaped. But they're in such good condition. I'm so excited. They're like lamb's leather, I think. Leather, leather, and shearling. Genuine shearling. Oh, they're like butter. Yeah, size six. It's another Floyd London. Alright, two more things. These are Sam Edelman boots. Lori Tata calls them wellies. They're like rain, they are rain boots, little ankle rain boots, size 8, excellent condition. I mean, they're, they're used, but minimal, minimal wear. And then I found these called Chameleon Clogs. So this is a, I found this brand, I looked it up and I seen, they're a handmade, handmade clog brand and they sell their clogs on Etsy. So this is like all textured fabric. Fringy, really bohemian, artsy. 
and they're like wooden clogs and like the brand is literally put on there with a paint marker. It's amazing. These are a size 40? Did I say that already? 39. They're a 39. Yeah, this like they sell their homemade chameleon clogs on Etsy and they sell them for so much money, like $180. So I'm so excited to do more research on that brand and to get those listed. All right, last but not least, ASOS. These are like a really good size. And by really good size, I mean seven. <laughs> I don't know. These look so much bigger than a seven. These are my size. I'm a seven and a half, but they're floral embroidered, brand new, with a spun strappy dappy ankle like it ties up the ankle yeah they're brand new they've never been worn you know quick $25 that is all oh good grief I found oh, something just fell down my leg I found all of that stuff the day we were at the thrift store for seven and a half hours so if you haven't seen Lori's video definitely go check it out oh my gosh she found so many amazing designer brands she did better than me this day, too, but don't worry. The next haul, I got her. <laughs> no, it's not a competition. I'm just playing around. Um, the next two trips, I got some really great items. Designer. My very first designer, and it was all thanks to Tata giving me, you know, sharing with me all, all the finds. She's the best. So I had such a great time. This was day two. It was a long, exhausting day. We wrapped it up with uh, eating pub food and drinking cocktails, <laughs> but it was great. I love every moment I get to spend with her. Thank you if you are new to my channel and I've come over from hers, I really appreciate it. I am so, like, taken aback and, and feel so thankful for all the comments about, that you guys have left about how, you know, much you like seeing our friendship and how you love us together. Like, I, like, it, it means so much to us, truly. We love it. So, and when we're together, that's what it's like every day. We talk every day. We are real life friends. <laughs> so anyways, um, thank you guys for being so supportive of, my, of our friendship. Thank you for being so supportive of my channel and her channel. And we love you. And we love sharing our finds with you. And I will see you back for thrift day number three very, very soon. Bye.